Speaking of rocking, how about that new hoodie you got going there, Bob? That looks pretty sharp. And rocking. My bad. Okay, what's up? John Boy, you want to get us going? Would love to. Pete, as you said, he's kind of kicking off the second half here, first half behind you. Obviously, the record's not what you want, but just where do you assess how, or how do you assess where this team's at halfway through? Well, I feel like we got to start right now. You know, this is the that's why we're we're starting a little early on the second half for us. You know, with this this game, uh, hoping that we can kick into high gear. And uh, we we've been close enough. We've been on the topic, knowing that we have. Uh, a lot of good things going for us. So we just got to make sure that we bring them together and finish some games off, and uh, and, and knock these wins in the boat, you know. And, and so it was good to get that one yesterday. Um, really, kind of with a clear marker that it's by time and all of that. So we're we're kicking into high gear. Does that 17th game really mess up your ability to break the season into quarters? Yes, yes, I'm totally screwed up. It doesn't work at all. So I I chose to uh, declare it now. <laughs> Jen. We saw that pass rush get to uh, Trevor Lawrence a little bit just in terms of quarterback hits, but to actually get more numbers, what needs to happen productivity wise and maybe scheme wise across the front? We got to keep going. We, you know, we got to keep uh, mixing our pressures and, and the stuff that we're doing to help the help the rush you know, coverage wise um, and, and get them down. We, we had we could have had five sacks easy in the game and uh, um, he did a nice job of getting rid of the football. Uh, so. Um, I really liked what Carlos did in the game. I thought he was really effective um, pushing the pocket, and Daryl looked really flashy uh, and had some great rushes in the game. And we just got to convert those into sacks. But I mean, what, what happened was the most of our wins came on third down, and that's when we really heated it up, and the guys did a nice job. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Corbin? Can you, can you guys hear that, that interference there? Yeah. I think Bob is uh, rolling on the... Uh, that's Bob's machine gun typing. <laughs> Mute yourself, out. Bob. Bob's out. <laughs> he says, no more looking at me. <laughs> okay, Pete, uh, you got a chance to uh, now see the film. Ethan got the start yesterday at center. Uh, How did you feel like he played and the overall communication for the line up front? We did communicate well. Um, coaches felt really good about the calls and the consistency and all of that. Protections were, were, uh, were in good shape. I thought Ethan did a nice job first game back. You know, he, he was a little rusty at some stuff physically and technique-wise, uh, but he, he did a nice job and did control it and was very comfortable, uh, you know, with the opportunity. Greg? Uh, hello, sir. How close is Russell Wilson playing to Green Bay, and what's the contraption in his finger, and what, when's the contraption coming out, please? Yeah, um, I don't know that. I don't know when it's coming out, um, and I don't have any updates for you. Really, we're just kind of, you know, hoping for the best in, in terms of his return, and that it, you know that everything's handled really well as we get, you know, as we get him in the mode where he starts to use his hand and his finger, you know, uh, with the football and all that. So we just got to do a good job and see what happens. I, I don't know any. There's no updates as of now. Does he? Does it need to be a? There's a benchmark amount of time after the pin comes out that he has to. Prove he can throw, or is it a, as soon as it's out, he just right back to normal? The, I know that they said that there's a couple days in just healing, you know, from taking it out, and then uh, then they just they start in. You know, Russ has been doing everything he can do as far as you know, making sure that his hand strength is is there and all of that. Um, so it, it, but there is not a there's not a timeline that they said that you know it's going to take this many days before he throws this many balls and that kind of stuff. We don't know that. And so it sounds it's, like it's going to be kind of a hands-on process, you know. Yeah, yeah. Can't quite get a finger on That's it. Right. We, got it. we haven't quite got a grip on it yet. The, uh, but it sounds like the, the removal of the pin is the pivotal point to where he can start playing. No, I don't think that's it. I I, I don't think that's it. I, that ha that's part of the process that's been coming. Um, you know, I, because I don't, I don't. It's how he works after that's you know out and then he's ready to start developing it's more that um, there's a pretty clear-cut uh, time frame they think for the couple days it's going to take after that is removed and then uh, then it's just how he can progress and uh, and you know of course the docs are going to take a look at it and see what it looks like now once he gets it out it'll be the first time he'll be able to bend his finger you know so they, we got to see how that works out 
Bob, if you're still there. Bob's gone, man. He is out. It's gone dark there. We might want to send somebody to the house. <laughs> we'll go to Art while we wait and try to locate Bob. Art? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm waiting on Bob. I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous here now. Um, Pete, yeah, you got a touchdown on the first drive, but it took you four shots from the one. What happened in that on your film review, and how did you wind up with Gino with the ball on fourth down? We were working the clock there. You know, we were four corners. I uh, just trying to delay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. And uh, we called for a cutter, and and, uh, <laughs> and Gino went over the top. No, we we had you know we had planned to, to use the sneak somewhere you know in the game and and uh, Gino ch just did chose the right way to go about it, uh, getting up over the pile. Um, we did a nice job in the line of scrimmage down low. It's a it's a real battle when you get to that point. We didn't hit the other couple runs very well and uh, we we didn't sustain the block that we needed to on on uh, Alex's run. The line of scrimmage really got knocked back on the first one on uh, for Rashad. So. It was just, you know, we just got to keep punching. We were going to go for it the whole way. It was a four down sequence for us just because it was that time of the game and we were close enough. So we were looking for opportunities to get in. Finally got it done. How did you think the uh, offensive line did in run blocking? You didn't get a lot of yards, but you got them big, big runs early. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, what we're, you know, we mixed the running backs in a lot and, and we weren't consistent in, in seeing the line of scrimmage and that that happens when you guys don't get that enough repetitive looks and so sometimes the rotations of the backs does, it doesn't get those guys the awareness that they need to, to grow because we did come off the ball well early in the game and, uh, um, and had plenty of chance to run the football even throughout so um, I, we, I, I feel like it, we didn't do them justice and there wasn't enough carries to mix as much as we did so we got to work on a rotation a little bit more. Bob? Hello. Yeah. Um, Pete, it, your uh, comments on Chris Carson on the radio show sounded a little bit more optimistic today than maybe they had been on Friday. Is that. Well, talking, is that to, talking, uh, talking to Chris, um, he, he wants to go for it next week. And so uh, he's got to get back on Monday and check in with the docs and see where he is and show him that, that he's that he's okay and then if he does then then he'll start practicing and so uh, that's then we'll find out where he stands you know once once we get to practice so um, he's real determined to get that done so that I'm keeping my fingers crossed for him that he can get a chance to get back on the field and start working with us you know and, and so that's that's about as optimistic as we can be until we know more it's coming back and, um, and and DJ Reed, any update on him? Uh, yes, he had he had uh, MRI work done, and he's he was cleared. So um, he had a little something that caught and was uncomfortable for him, but he's okay. He's had a little groin thing that he, he's kind of been nursing throughout. Um, not serious, but it, it seemed to you know it it was a concern in the game. So we took care of him. So he should be okay. Tim. Pete, you mentioned this briefly on the radio this morning, but what did you learn about this team the last few weeks not having Russell out there on the field? Well, I think it was really obvious to, to everyone that, you know, this is it, it, how team oriented this game really is and how everybody has to play their part. And uh, and we needed to support, you know, our quarterback and, and do the things to, to give him a chance to get, you know, get comfortable and, and start function. Gino obviously really improved. He had a great game yesterday and, and that was the best he's played in a long time and uh, everybody played well around him they, we protected well timing was well uh, handled in the passing game guys caught all the balls made really good plays and in uh, and, and, you know just keeping the momentum going you can't be any more consistent than he was uh, he did a beautiful job in the game and so I, I think I think the message is how team oriented this thing is and, and everybody's got to be held accountable everybody's got to do their job and everybody's got to do their part and we contributed in a really complete team fashion yesterday, and it was uh, it, it was rewarding. Uh, it was also really it was exciting to see Gino have that chance to you know come on. We've seen him a little bit, and then a couple of games, and then now he gets his best game. It looks like he's just getting getting in the full flow of it. So um, uh, I think everybody really appreciates what what he's done, and and uh, we're excited about moving forward. Well, we're in pretty good shape right now, pretty pretty healthy. So everybody feels that too. That when we come back here, we're gonna we're gonna you know. Go for it. See if we can get a good little run going here. Brady. 
Hey Pete, just to clarify with the pin, is it a matter of like the pin just gets pulled out of the tip of his finger so that they don't have to go back in and like do it that way? Is it just it just gets pulled out whenever it's ready? It's gonna be a little pop like that and it comes out, out it comes. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think you're gonna get a, pl a pair of pliers, you know, and somebody's gonna hold his hand and, he's gonna, eh! and just jerk it out of there. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Um, but it makes sense that the pin's a straight pin, and so I think they'll just sneak it on out of there, you know. And then and, and you said that once that happens, <laughs> there's a couple of days of healing before he could start practicing. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, that's what we've been told. That you know, we'll picture it. You know, you get he's got a hole in his finger there, so you know that's kind of got to heal up a little bit. So thank you. Some real technical stuff right there. <laughs> Sorry, Jackie. AP, I'm sure there's certain areas where you would like to see the numbers go up, but as a whole, did you feel like yesterday was the most complete game by the team this season? Yeah, it was. It definitely was. It was the most complete game start to finish. Uh, started with kickoff team and, and, and the way we were we made a big deal about those guys kind of setting the tempo for us, and they did. Um, and we just played well throughout. You know, the penalties were under control. Uh, we took care of the football, um, you know, all of that stuff. And so. It felt like a real complete game, and it was a game that we felt in control early and, and maintained it throughout. I like that we came back after halftime and played well on both sides, uh, and, and you know, all but finished uh, you know a great shutout game. So it was really a, a good effort all the way. Michael Sean. Hey Pete, just how would you assess the run game uh, through eight weeks, both the line and the running backs? I don't feel like we found the rhythm at all. I don't feel like we found it, and uh, um, we've been spotty. Um, Alex has done a nice job. I, I really think we watched Alex in the last two weeks making it through the game. You know, he had a groin issue that I don't think he was at top speed um, in either one of the last two games. I think these two weeks are going to be really important for him. He was good enough to play, and uh, as we saw him, I thought he looked, uh, even though he had a, a good game a couple games ago, uh, yardage-wise. Um, I'm hoping that he'll, you know, he'll pop back and be just a little bit more juiced up uh, than he was you know, these last couple. I think he did. He sucked it up and played, and uh, I, he, he's been the most effective part of it. Um, I like what we're doing in, in a run game scheme-wise, um, but we have to find the consistency. And it, what it really shows up to me is at the end of the game, we, did, we didn't run the ball well in, in the fourth quarter, and that's when you want to really want to hammer the football. When you're running the ball well, the fourth quarter is the time when you put games away, you eat up clock. And you kind of send the message that you know that, that you got your act together, and you know, I don't feel like we've done that yet. And with the the, the pass protection, uh, except for I think, was it the Niner game? Was it that's the game we came back and, and and ran pretty good? No, it was the Pittsburgh game, right? Pittsburgh, yeah. Pittsburgh was the game when we really that that's what it's supposed to look like in this in, in the second half. Uh, and going to the pass pro uh, sack numbers are up there, but how much of that is? With the QBs and maybe the throwing game is going on, and how much of those sack numbers are all well? We had, we had two weeks. We had, we had ten in two weeks. So I mean, you know, we, that was terrible. And and uh, so, yeah, disappointed in that. Um, continue to work to get rid of the football when we get in trouble, and uh, and just make sure that we're we're cleaner. You know, we just get better. Um, there was something that you know, Gino, Gino ate the football a couple times when when we want him to get rid of it, and it happened again yesterday. Uh, we just need to get better at that. Thanks. Yes. Art. Uh, Pete, Double dip regarding uh, health protocol on the team, when you have a, a player coming back from injury, they're always emotional. They always want to play. What do you guys do with the medical team to take the emotion out of the decision of whether a guy is ready to return? What do we do to take the... Um, well, you know, we've been around a while, and so, you know, we've worked, we work with the guys, knowing the, the players... Uh, it's really important because they're not all the same in how they how they deal with you know the return. Um, some guys are much more forthright, and some guys you know are more hesitant. Some guys may overthink it, you know. So we have to deal with the individual players as we go through it. But it's a it is a big process. You're right. There is a process to that, and and um, you know I really trust in, in uh, Strick and in Sam Rams and all of our, of our guys. Even when we pass it over to the uh, the return. Um, you know, to Ivan's group, Ivan Lewis's group, and how they they bring guys back. All of that information is taken into account, and to make the right decisions. Um, you know, that we're, we're some guys are more emotional. You mentioned emotion. Some guys are more emotional about it than others. Some guys are just really 
will not accept the fact that they're hurt, and other people do. They, you know, they know, okay, it's going to be a couple weeks, and I'm, you know, I'll let you know when I'm, when I'm back, you know. So we have to work with all those elements and, and try to make really good decisions on that, which we're, we're pretty good at doing. And, and uh, you know, I don't know if it's hard, I don't know if you, if you said that, but it's just the part of the process. Maz Vita. Hey, Pete, I believe you said going to the game that Dwayne Brown was feeling lousy and it looks like he played all the snaps. How did he fare? And uh, what would you say about his play? Yeah, I think it was a really big effort by him. He was real. He was sick, and uh, and he, he he couldn't. You know, he didn't look sick during the week, and and was laying up and really taking you know taking it easy to, to gain his strength and all. He couldn't have felt a hundred percent going in, but he he played a, a really nice football game. Did good good job. Was. Uh, he, he had fun playing, so he, he, you know, he got cleared and got through it. Um, but it was a tough week for me. He, he really got no practice time at all. So uh, that's, you know, in a game that's so technical, and particular, particularly the position that he plays is so technical. It's hard to not practice and, and, and keep your game right. I thought he came through in, in really, really good fashion and showed real guts just pulling it off. Last question, Bob Condota. Um, oh, I'll end with a good one here. Uh, we just saw the Rams make a trade for Von Miller. The trade deadline's obviously tomorrow. Do you uh, are you guys in on anything, or are things pretty quiet right now, or, or how do you feel about where you guys are? Well, we're 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 on it. You know, this is that time, so uh, um, it's important for us to have all the information and, and see who's available and listen to the the calls that come in and all that. So John and his guys are real active on it. And this is a really busy day for us in that regard. So um, you know. Nothing to, to note, as of course I wouldn't anyway. But um, but really, this isn't. It's a, it's an important day to see what the opportunities are. Okay, everyone, have a nice bye. We'll see you next Monday. See you guys.